I literally saw a transformation yeah. right in front of my eyes. And it's lasted 38 years. Yeah, it has. The greatest catalyst to a reset is absolutely fasting. And Lisa, I have to say in my life, some of the greatest changes have occurred as a result of a couple day fast. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not been a fast of food for me. Mm -hmm. It's been when I fasted screens. But if you look at fasting, people have a very negative view of it. They see it as almost a hunger strike. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fast God until you do something. That is totally not the concept of fasting. Mm -hmm. Fasting only opens you up. Yeah. You're denying what you normally do in your physical body to open up your spirit so you can more clearly hear from God. You know, so I had an unhealthy relationship with food. I had an eating disorder before I became a Christian where I starved myself and then after I beat, well, I starved myself and drank alcohol. That's what I did before I was a Christian. But then once I became a Christian, I translated that over drinking to an overeating and then I got mad at God. I was like, God, I became a Christian like I was doing him a favor and now I'm fat. And so I outgrew my wedding gown. I could not get my wedding gown on. It was like that far. So what time period are we talking? How, how many months 19, did that take? Well, no. Well, because we, we got engaged in no. June and married in October. Uh, so we, well, I had, I had bought a wedding gown by faith oh, yeah, that I would right. get down to the size that I needed to be, which was my wedding gown was a size 10. Anyway, not that that's bad, but it's not the size I wear now. So anyway, I came home and I said, God, I can't believe this. I'm crying. I can't fit into my wedding gown. I could see how upset my dad would be. And he said, I want you to stop weighing yourself. I want you to stop dieting. Because you were weighing yourself every day, I, right? I would get up in the morning, I'd weigh myself, and then I'd eat, and then I'd weigh myself, then I'd eat my lunch and weigh myself, then I wouldn't have lost any weight. So then I'd eat everything in the refrigerator and I would start, I would binge or I would starve. I could not be normal. And so I remember he said, stop weighing yourself. Yeah. He said that your weight is not your worth. It is not your measure. And he said, I want you to stop the dieting. And he said, I'm the one who made you. I'm going to tell you what you should weigh. And, and I remember, this is crazy. I thought, God, you don't care about that. And he said, anything that's important to you is important to me. And so anyway, he gave me a weight. I wrote it down in my Bible. I closed it. I climbed up in the attic, put my scales up into the attic. And I said, I'm not going to measure myself. All I'm going to do is I'm going to worship and I'm going to walk. And God, you need to teach me how to eat until I am satisfied. He said, well, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go on a fast. And so I did a three day fast and I kind of was like, wait, God, you just said no dieting. And now you're saying fast. And he said, a diet changes the way you look, but a fast changes the way you see. Oh my gosh. And I powerful. needed to change wow. the way I saw myself, my <laughs> circumstance, the way I saw food, the way I saw everything. And that fast, I did a three day juice fast. We're not telling you to do a juice fast. You, you've got to talk to your doctor, but I want to say it's what John already mentioned. You can fast whatever holds you back. I had an unhealthy relationship with food. So it was very important that I fasted food. Yeah. But maybe you have an unhealthy relationship like John mentioned with screens, or maybe you have an unhealthy relationship with talking to certain people on the phone. Maybe you have an unhealthy relationship with something that's just busyness. You know what it is, put it aside, put it down. So anyway, I went on a three day fast and it changed the way I looked at everything. And as you know, on the day of my wedding, God said, you can get down the scale and you can weigh yourself. And this was only three weeks. And in that three weeks, trusting God, trusting God, offering up my food with prayer and thanksgiving, I had gone from, I don't even know what it was, like maybe 140 to the exact weight he told me that I should weigh. I'd gone Which exactly was? to that 116. 116. 116. I was exactly <clears throat> that when we left for our honeymoon. And you know, one of the things, now John is right, we need to exercise, but the Bible doesn't say that Sarah was beautiful because she ran aerobics in the desert. It said that Sarah refused to give way to fear. And there's something that happens in your body when you live yep. in fear, you shut your body down. And so I want to just talk to you about the. I want, I want to put a PS on this. Yeah. <clears throat> Lisa and I have had four sons. 
John, I, I've this had is, the forceps. This is the honest <laughs> truth, that a year after the fourth son, she still weighed that 116. It was because she'd have to go to the doctor once a year. It was absolutely amazing because she didn't go to the gym, as she said, but yet because she had a proper view of the way food is that God did initiated on that fast, mm. all these years, she looks like she looks and she doesn't go to the gym regularly. So no, that's I amazing. don't because my life is crazy. And you never diet. No, I don't. Okay, Isaiah 58, 6. And this is God. He's talking to his people because fasting had become a religious routine right. where they thought themselves spiritual. This is what he says in Isaiah 58, 6. Is not this the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and break every yoke. So I love God is saying, is this not the fact, like, it's not about your food. This is what I am looking for. And then we talked about this earlier, fasting changes your appetite. You begin to hunger for different things. Fasting increases your sensitivity to God yes. and other people who are in need. Cause you're yes. not always just feeding yourself. Fasting, I love what David said, Fasting, he said, I chastened my soul with fasting. Sometimes my soul needs a time out and I chasten it with fasting. I put myself in a time out because fasting works humility. We're going to put aside that thing that makes us feel good about ourselves and we're going to go to God. And fasting chastens and disciplines, fasting increases our capacity. As we empty ourselves, yeah. God begins to fill ourselves. And so I love that. So I want you to, when you hear the word fasting, mm -hmm. hear the word abstinence. So mm. here's the reset. Figure out what it is that consumes your time, yeah. that isn't important, that is pulling you away from being able to spend time with God. Um, is it staying up at night and watching a program? I know God dealt with me one time about the fact that you go to bed at 11, you just lost an hour with me in the morning. It's a privilege to spend time with the king of the universe in the morning. And we had our whole family fast TV for a month. Yep. And that was a really amazing research. So we we fasted TV back in the days when TV was it. Now today it's our, our cell phones, it's 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 our tablets, it's our computers, it's watching Netflix. If if that's taking a lot of time, if that's averting you from spending time in God's word and in prayer with him, just here's the reset. Fast it, mm -hmm. abstain from it, and spend the time you would have spent playing that computer game, let's mm -hmm. say, with the Lord, reading a chapter. And I'm going to tell you this in advance. You're really going to reset, and you're really going to change when you do this.